Every couple prepares for a perfect wedding day, but the turn of events leading up to one ceremony changed those plans. And we're about 37 seconds into the trip and all of us girls are like, something is burning. The full wedding party, the bride, groom, the mother of the bride, they left the hotel. They were headed to the venue when they started seeing smoke. That bus driver, she felt horrible. Mm -hmm. Like She was about to cry. Off the bus and all smiles, what do the girls do? Take pictures, of course. Meanwhile, Chris Schramm, the bride's brother, gets the dress. We're on the side of the road for about, I don't know, a couple minutes, yeah, and VDOT gets there, Trooper Don, we love him, he gets there. And then Legacy came through, like Johnny on the spot, got us a huge bus. We caught up with Trooper Don Thornton, who says he thought there was a serious issue when he first saw the group. I saw their vehicle, the bus, over at the emergency pull-off with a wedding party that was standing outside of it, gowns and tuxedos. Once the new ride arrived, they were off with the help of Trooper Don, of course. He turned his lights on so that we could scoot into traffic. But the bumps in the road didn't stop there. After the ceremony, another issue. We get in there, the power is out for two hours. They can't make the food, the drinks are getting warm, the cake is melting. But through it all, Chris and Chelsea Scrum say the couple, Casey and Scott, were unfazed. Nothing has bothered her. We're like, Casey, the bus is broken down. She's like, fine. And then we're like, there's no power. And she's like, fine, I'm still getting married.